Hello, today we're going to be driving the 2025 GV80 and the 2.5 Prestige. So today we're going to be taking a spin in the 2025 2.5 GV80 Prestige. I'm going to take it around the block right here. It comes with that brand new 27 inch display. That comes standard. It's gonna be very nice. So this one's a prestige model, so it has a heads up display, ventilated seats in the front, has a heated steering wheel. And then noticing the differences, right now we're in comfort. Noticing the differences between the 24 and the 25. It's not too different ride wise, definitely a little bit different on the inside. Still got the blind view monitor. Make a right right here. Yeah, still very smooth, even in the 2.5 engine. So we're gonna switch over to Eco. Eco is just meant to be more fuel efficient, save you some money and some gas, get some better MPGs. Also, the ride doesn't change too much once once you switch to Eco compared to Comfort. It's pretty nice. You have the brand new cluster, which you can change the background of. Just very nice. Yeah, it's not too not too different from the 2024. Ride-wise, it's still very comfortable, very solid on the road. Make a right right here. Still has all the lane lane keep features, all the driver assist. Yeah, the infotainment's a little bit different compared to the last year's model. Has a brand new infotainment, so you can see your like map. You have 3D setup, which is very nice. Actually, it's a quick quicker way to access your settings. You know, if you want to spin the car around, you can see inside. You can edit your vehicle settings. Like your drive mode. So you can actually customize your own drive mode, which I'm about to go to, which is your, called my drive mode. Um, and you can adjust the powertrain to sport, smart, steering. You can adjust the steering, comfort for suspension, or you can put on sport suspension. And so right now I just have comfort suspension, smart powertrain, and comfort steering in your custom drive mode. I'm gonna switch this over to sport mode. Yeah, instantly feel a difference in the power. Feel a difference in the pedal, the suspension, the steering. Once you switch the drive mode to sport, you kind of feel a little bit more of the road and you can feel the steering stiffened up a little bit. But it's still overall very, very comfortable. You got the new paddle shifters, new steering wheel design, all these brand new buttons. very very comfortable I'm glad to see they, they changed the interior of the GV80 it looks very very modern with the brand new screen and like the climate but with this wood finish which is very nice now you got ambient lighting in the cup holders too so they focus on the little attentions little little attention to detail Very smooth, very quiet. Yeah, I'm just in, in, still in sport mode. Let's, see, let's give this some gas a little bit. Yeah, this one is a 2.5 engine, 300 horsepower. That's some great pickup for a little four cylinder. I'm using the paddle shifters to shift up. They have a nice, nice feedback when you click them in. Oh, 
don't know if you can hear me clicking the paddle shifters, but it's very satisfying. <laughs> it's a nice little drive. Love the new screen. Feels very familiar to the GV60. Um, so if you had a GV60 prior to the new 2025 GV80, it's going to be pretty familiar. Uh, they're going to start using this infotainment on a lot of models, a lot of the newer models, um, which once you're used to, it's pretty comfortable, um, pretty easy to access everything, especially with this little joystick. Um, and the touchscreen is not too far away to where you can just use the touchscreen. Use settings such as mood curator, your media, radio, you have your map. Overall, just a very smooth ride. I haven't tested out the wireless charger, but the wireless charger is brand new. Has a brand new indicator, um, brand new USB C's, which is very, very nice. Charges your phone a lot faster than the traditional USB. CH, give it a little bit of gas. You can hear that the engine sound is also uh, enhanced compared to the previous model year, which is very, very nice. It's a great sound to it. Overall, just a very, very smooth ride. Not too many differences between the 24 and 25 GV80 uh, ride-wise, but features and looks is a little bit different. Um, I honestly am really digging the new look. A brand new sound system too. So uh, previous model year had the Lexicon sound system, which we know and love. Uh, this model year is just gonna have the Bang & Olufsen, which sounds great. Uh, it was previously already on our GV60 and G90, um, and this, this sound system sounds amazing. 18 speakers in total. Um, wish I could turn up the radio for you guys and have you guys listen because it sounds great. That car has plenty of pickup and go. If you don't need all the power in the 3.5, I would always recommend getting the 2.5 has just enough power to take you where you need with that 300 horsepower. Or now we're about to pull into the dealership. Let me go ahead and reverse into this spot. Let me take a look at the, the camera. It's still very clear. You have 360 parking sensors now, which is very, very nice. You'll see the indicator on the cluster. And uh, once I start approaching this, you're going to start hearing it beep. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you like our content, please subscribe. If you want to see more videos, check out our description below.